We have got mail and a beer review. Okay, so I went out and I wanted a beer. I got this. It's called Woot Stout. Stone fracking wheat. Let's see if we can get you a close-up of that. If you really want to look at it. But it says here, it's by Stone Farking Wheaton. I'm Drew Curtis, Craig Colch, Will Wheaton. Stone, Woot Stout. Has a neat picture of like a little dude's faces. I hope this don't make me throw up. It looks like it might make me throw up. It's got, look at it got people on there. They're throwing, it's like some kind of a human centipede throw up thing. Mechanical throw up and something's going, something's weird there. Not sure what that's about. Um, we also got mail here. Some of these I've already opened, but before we open that, any of those, or go through any of them, got my little JT Center Fried Mini Tomahawk beer opener. Alright, so I'm just going to drink it out of a cup, because it's a clean cup. New cup, plastic cup. Oh, it's a very dark beer. Let's see if it gets ahead there. Yeah. Drink fresh. Our age at cellar temperature, 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius or below. I might give it too much of a head there. Well, it, um, I'm not sure. I'll have to sit on that. Let's get to our first envelope. Uh, this one here, the Muncie Man. If you guys don't know Muncie Man, check him out. I'll have uh, links below in the description. And he sent me a poker, which is really cool. So now I've got uh, up to, this will be poker chip number six. So that definitely going there on my little board. And he sent me a little note that says, hey fam, hope all is well. Really digging your videos with Hunter Plus. Uh, still working on them. Tells me to be safe. Uh, thank you, Muncie. I appreciate that. I'm going to drink to that. Hmm. Tastes like, um. I don't know it's got a lot of coffee flavors and some chocolate flavors it's really stout okay i got another one here and this one is from jt hickman and he sent me a couple stickers thank you got the who's your heritage on there with jt hickman it says i found your channel via the hashtag support group of motovloggers and have been enjoying everyone's videos during these cold indiana days sticker trade stay safe and keep your head on a swivel hickman Thank you, JT. I appreciate that. I'm gonna set these out here so people can see them. And I'm gonna drink to that. It's not a very bubbly beer. I don't know if it's a beer I could drink the whole beer. It's like something you'd want with dinner or something that's sweet. Chocolatey coffee. Um, it's stout. What is the percentage on this, I wonder? 13% alcohol by volume. Oh boy, I didn't know it was that. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Alright, woot. Alright, so let's see what else I got here. Got this one here. Uh, this is from JP1970. And I think I'm supposed to use something like a big old knife. So I got this old witch blade that I uh, made a long time ago when I was a kid. So I thought I would use that to cut up the envelope. Got a little card in here. It says, thank you. Thank you for watching. Hey, bud. Thanks so much for the stickers. Um, <laughs> Red Onion Challenge. <laughs> you know, I removed that video just because. Uh, watch them. <laughs> what a problem. She doesn't <laughs> Great effort. <laughs> yeah, I saw the onion thing. No, thanks for watching. You, th you think... <laughs> Thank you. I got some stickers from it. That's very cool. So I'll be putting those on the board. Thank you, JP. I appreciate that. He, he does all kinds of drone stuff, which is really cool. I got another one here. It's open. Both of these are from Jiggy Moto. All I did was asking for was a sticker to put on my board. And he ended up sending me already one I opened. I thought it was just going to have a sticker in it. But he sent me another key tag with a card and a sticker and a sticker another card so thank you jiggy i don't know why you sent me all that i just i just wanted the sticker and then next thing i know we were on a chat and he orders one of the shirts that i designed from like a 
designed by humans. And then the next thing I know, I get another one. Now this one feels like it's got something hard in it, so I don't know what's gonna be in here, but I guess I gotta use this thing. Oh, and JP, I forgot to drink to ya. I'm gonna drink double now. Oh boy, yeah, some stout dip. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can do this with this knife here. Oh yeah. Thanks for the support, Yugimoto. More stickers, man. I'm gonna have to like pay this forward. Thank you, Jiggy. What have I got in here? What have you? What have you sent me here, dude? Another poker chip. Oh, it's the 115 Winnipeg man. I got a Canada poker chip. I like the color blue. It matches my truck. Harley Davidson Winnipeg. That is freaking awesome, dude. So I'm up to, man, I got two poker chips. I got all kinds of Jiggy Mo. I might have to give this to somebody who doesn't have stickers to trade or maybe somebody who's never had a Jiggy Moto thing, but I could give some of that, give this away, like pay it forward. I got extra Jiggy because I got one on my keys. It might start to remind me of Minion Moto send me all the, it's like, here's some stickers. <laughs> uh, this is very cool. I got Winnipeg. In South Bend, Indiana. I want to show these here. McDaniels. McDaniels, Harley Davidson. And then here's the one Jiggy sent me. So that's very cool. I'm gonna drink. The, I don't know if I'll be able to drink this beer. That was like half a yeah but thanks all you guys for the wonderful gifts thanks for the support thanks for just you know just being my friends i really appreciate it y'all keep doing what you do everyone out there follow these guys and you keep doing what you do too try and fail but never fail to try i'm gonna fail to drink this beer i can i can already tell i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna but i'll try Oh yeah, oh, that's strong stuff. Yeah, what I get in this beer? I said beer review, so I guess I have to review it. What I get this beer? If you are somebody who want likes a, a dinner beer with like um, maybe a nice big steak or something, something you're not really wanting to get drunk off of, but want the flavor of really dark. It's very rich. It's sweet. It's a uh, it's good if you like that. If you're a Guinness drinker and you like that dark stuff, you might like this, but it's like super thick. It's an it's like a real German type sort of it's it'd probably be good with dinner. But it's not something I would drink to try and drink. But like I'm gonna catch a buzz on, but it's like a wine beer. It's it's different. Acquired taste possibly. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish up. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>